trying to center myself. Oh, well, I'm sorry to interrupt, but this won't take long. Whenever I try to center myself, you always throw me off. Well, the feeling's mutual, you know. Look, Cass, I'm starting on a new path now, and... Bon voyage. And I really don't want or need all these constant conversations about the past. Neither do I. I came to pick up the surveillance equipment that was bought with the law office's money. I guess there is no reason to keep an eye on Lucas anymore. No, certainly not from here. So if you'll give me the equipment, I'm out of your life. Forever. No class today, right? No class. No private instruction. What do you want, Lucas? We have to talk, and I don't want to be interrupted. We won't be. So what's this all about? You made a decision to bring Michael Hudson on board? I made a decision, yes. Oh. Well, I trust it has something to do with obtaining the rest of the shipment. I thought you should know our association will be coming to an end very soon. You care to tell me what that's supposed to mean? Getting out, Griffin. Out? Yes of everything. Fine. If you can. Easy. Easy. Oh. So easy. Oh. 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 Can you stand on your own? <laughs> I guess not. Look, man. I found this in your pocket. Uh, Winthrop, Edwards, the lawyers, man. I'm gonna take you to the office, okay? Who are you, man? <laughs> Your guiding angel. One step at a time. Mama! Oh. Mama! Tess! Tess! Anybody! Anybody help me! Will somebody help me get out of here? Didn't you listen to your mom? Yeah, I listened, but I'm still here. Well, maybe you didn't quite believe her. She ain't the problem, man. You are. You're the one who told me everything was going to be great. You did. Now look at me. I'm alone. No, you're not. You're not alone. I'm here, and I'll stay. You mean you, you still believe in me? Sure. If you can show me a good time. Well, if I can't, who can, right? <laughs> so what do you want to do? Let's go out. OK. <laughs> <laughs> nice place, huh? The food is divine. Mm -hmm. Well, so is the company. <laughs> Thank you. Bonsoir, mademoiselle. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bienvenue à chez nous. Uh, the mademoiselle says that everything is divine, so uh, we'll have one of everything. An excellent choice, monsieur. <laughs> but before I can serve you, uh, I, I must ascertain if you uh, have the funds to pay for the bill. You have the funds? Mm, oui. Is that what you just asked me? Oui, monsieur. Funds? Oui. Oh, I got your funds, Jack. Oh, my funds, my <laughs> There you go. Merci, monsieur. Oh, la la. Oh. Mm -mm. 
No. No? What do you mean by no? I regret that uh, your credit cards, uh, how you say, mm, expired. <laughs> Sorry. Give me the manager. Get me a cab. There is no manager. C'est seulement moi, monsieur. See, Ruben, it's Courtney. been real. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Courtney! Uh, pardon, monsieur, but I need this table for paying customers. You will have to leave. Allez-y, monsieur. Your card, sir. Thank you. Where's my car? No, 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 no. I said your cart, sir. This is all you can afford, sir. What happened to my two TVs? As they say in Jamaica, sir, this be all you want to get, ma'am. Where would you like to go, sir? I just want to go home. Right, sir. Yes, I do. I'm, I have a class in ten oh, minutes. Isn't that important? Well, 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 in the grand scheme of things, figuring that human life as we know it will probably be extinct in 16 million years or so, not in the least. But if I want to pass the course extremely. What a shame. <sighs> Come on, you must be sick of me by now. Tired of me? I'd be tired of a charming, gorgeous, witty, sexy guy like you. Mm. Mm. Well, Josephine, if you don't get your hands off me now, I'm going to be ignorant of world history. Just think about how much you'll know about biology. Don't you have any self control, woman? No, 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 not when it comes to you. Okay. All right. Try to have. An intelligent discussion with you, but you relegate everything to its lowest basic physical common physical? denominator. I'll show you physical. Wait. <laughs> mm. And give me a call later. All right. Darling. Hi. I hope you're not busy. I was in the neighborhood and I thought I'd stop by and have a look at your. No, no, no. It is charming. Oh, that's right. You've never seen it. No, I haven't. I'm sorry. I hope you're not too hurt. Oh, no. It's just, it's kind of a pity, that's all. Why is that? Well, Lucas seems to stop by practically every day. So, you want out of the deal, huh? You find that amusing? <laughs> I find it impossible. They'll never let you go. You're a limited man, Griffin. Only limited men think things are impossible. We only came up with half of the last shipment, Lucas. That couldn't be helped. You didn't tell the buyer that. Oh, you're also a fearful man. That buyer has you cowed, doesn't he? I enjoy life, Lucas. It is far more jolly than the alternative. The buyer is a reasonable man. Unless you cross him, he will never let you go. Oh, really? I just spoke to a representative of his a few hours ago. Seems like things can be worked out. How? Equitable arrangements yet to be decided. What about me? What about you? Where does that leave me? Well, you'll have to talk to the buyer about that. But once I'm out of this business, I don't ever want to see you again. Is that clear? Griffin, I just spoke to Lucas. He told me he spoke to one of your underlings and that there were going to be some changes. I'd like to know what's going on. Yes? Well? Very good. Very good. Yes, yes, you know I am. Completely loyal. 
a leak in the organization? Yes, yes, I think I may know who it is. And if there is a leak, I will plug it. You know, you should use some of this stuff to do your channeling. Is that supposed to be a joke? No, no, it's sophisticated, powerful equipment. You could have gotten a psychic to find the right frequency, save you using up your energy, you know. Goodbye, Cass. Well, I was just trying to be helpful. No, you weren't. You were trying to be a pain in the neck, and you succeeded. Come on, just help me pick this stuff up, will you please? Hey, wait a second. What? This isn't yours. Which isn't? The car bug. I was going to plant it in Lucas's limo, but I never got around to it. Well, it most certainly isn't yours. I'm... Get out of here. Not without my car bug. I'm telling you, I bought this months ago. Got a receipt? Do you? I'm not leaving here until you show me a receipt. You want a receipt? You want a receipt? That's what I want. You are so cheap, Winthrop. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah, well, why are you doing your bird imitations? I'm going to get this stuff out of Don't here. Don't you touch my bug. And here I, all this time, I thought you were a professional. I am a professional. Oh, I am more of a professional than you will ever be. Huh. I am a great pro. I am a pro's pro. I... I... <sighs> What am I doing? You're yelling. Right. About a car bug. Yeah. An electronic device. A thing. Well, all right, if it means that much no, to you. No, it means nothing to me. All I want is peace. Inner peace. Now, what am I doing ranting and raving? I'm sorry, Frankie. It's not your fault. I cannot allow myself to get upset by trivial things. I must seek the divine truth and okay. find tranquility. Okay. I... You can have the bug. You just don't get it, do you? If you say it's your bug, it's, it must be your bug. Oh, you are the most infuriating, most insensitive, most... So much most for tranquility. <laughs> You're right. I, I'm doing it again. It's, it's crazy. I'm going nuts over a thing. I... I'll tell you what I'll do. Why don't I just take it with me since it upsets you so much? No, Cass, it doesn't upset me so much. You upset me so much. I can't have a normal conversation with you. No, I guess you can't. Don't make it all my fault. Oh, I'm not. I'm to blame. And I apologize. And what is this? Some sort of new strategy? No, not at all. And I, I hope you'll be very happy with your choreographer. Wait a second. Time out what? on the floor. Yeah. First of all, I am not with anybody. And secondly, Griffin is a lot more than just a choreographer. Oh, I agree with that. He is a bright and decent man. Oh, come on, he Frankie. Is. He is an artistic type. You can never be sure about artistic types. They are so unreliable. A woman in every city. Oh, you should know all about that. Oh, okay. Forget about it. I was just trying to give you some good advice, but forget it. Go answer your phone. Hello? Griffin? Hi. Oh, no, it's, it's very nice to talk to you. I was, I was meaning to call you. No, I'm not doing anything. Bored stiff. <laughs> Talking to the walls, in fact. I, I would like to see you, too. Uh, now's a very good time. Yeah. Sure, sure, okay, I'll see you in a few. Bye. See you, Cass. Gotta go. Hey, go ahead. You want to ruin your life? Go ahead. Inner peace. Kick in. Okay. If you think that low rent Najinsky is a bargain compared to me, you need, you need a hell of a lot more than inner peace, believe me. I'll send, I'll send somebody else back to pick up the rest of this. Short, isn't it? No. You hate it. Did I say that? No, but your face is all scrunched up. It's that look that says, Stacy, who are you kidding? You belong in a long pleated skirt Stacey. and a boring blazer look. Stacy, listen to me a minute. I gotta break the date. I'm sorry. We've hardly seen each other at all this week. I know. You can't go tonight? No, I have to try to find a job. 
You have a job. I think frame construction just isn't paying the bills. And, you know, maybe to pick up in the spring, but right now. So you have to go on this tonight? Yeah, I just found out they can only see me tonight. And then I've got two more to go see after that. Mm. I got an idea. I'll go with you. I'll wait till after your interview is over and you're getting that look again. No. Okay. I don't want to jinx it. Okay. Huh? All, right. All right. Will you answer me one question? You bet. If you get this job, are you still going to have time for me? <laughs> Always. You better stop kissing me like this or I'm not going to let you go. <laughs> go. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't dare look at me like that again or I'm not going to let you go at all. Goodbye. Be gone. By the way, your skirt's uh, a little long. Hi. Jamie. Nice, uh, nice skirt. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Is this a bad, bad time? No, not I mean, at all. If, I if, just, if I'm keeping you, then I can just. Uh, no, sit. Okay. So tell me. How's the nanny hunt going? Oh, I have to put that on hold until I can get a new group together to be interviewed. Oh, then what's the problem? Actually, tonight, uh, for once, I'm not here with the problem. No. Now, it's hard to believe, I know, I know. But then why are you here? To make you an offer you can't refuse. 